Shalom, beloved. A word. When I got up this morning, the spirit was telling me Book of Maccabees, fourth book, four Maccabees. And I read four Maccabees. And many of the things that I had been experiencing and in my spirit, speaking with the most high about, he answered me with the statement, four Maccabees. As soon as I opened my eyes, four Maccabees. But before I go into that, I wanna talk about faith, okay, faith. Right now, many people, they confuse the law and grace with faith. But you see, beloved, the law being the Torah, being instructions, and faith, faith in the word of God, faith in Yahuwah, faith. You see, we get this Western construct, this thought, this teaching that even though it says faith without works is dead, we are taught from a Western concept that faith is a passive thing. And what do I mean? We put all our thoughts on Yahuwah without actually being active in our faith, when in reality, it involves active support. Many of us, I'm waiting on the Lord, oh Lord, I'm waiting on you to move, to be still mode. But we are actively pursuing him. Instead of that Western ideology, we're going by the Hebraic truth that faith is us seeking the most high, pursuing him, finding and following his word to teach us how to govern ourselves in situations that on any other term, we don't know what to do. We may not even understand how what we're told to do can affect the outcome that we want. Because if we follow the ways of the system we are finding ourselves in, it tells us to go another way. But that faith, not that passive faith that the Western world teaches us, where we look to, but we don't act on, we don't pursue. The faith, the Hebraic faith is an active pursuit of the most high, I believe you, I receive you, I am following you actively. I'm believing beyond what the world shows me and tells me, faith. Yes, beloved, before we begin, let us pray. Yah of mine ancestors, Yah of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we come before you this day, honoring and praising you, following you diligently in thy law, thy word, thy instruction, thy living word that guides us and keeps us, that speaks to us in the quiet of our spirit, that supersedes the madness bred inside by those things outside. We know that you supply all our needs and you keep us from falling where we cannot rise. You lift us up through thy truth. We recognize that we already have the victory because the war of the truth has already been won, beloved. Thank you, Father. As we glorify you this day, coming in your presence, asking that you bless us and our families keep us, that we drink not this world's elixir, but that we consume those living waters of the spirit, and that we eat from the table that thou hast set before us, 
the meat of thy word growing and transforming and allowing your perfect work to have its way. Glorifying you this day, setting aside all those wonders and worries and concerns with our eyes, our hearts, our minds, our spirits on you. Trusting and believing and following, knowing that you hear those who seek you diligently and you reward us, Father. We want to give you thanks. We cannot trust ourselves because of the sin in our nature, but we know you are not like a man that you should lie. And nothing that you do fails. Everything your word says profits, Father. And we want to lift up on high, go beyond this carnal station of life in the land of our enemies. Bring us up higher that we see beyond the cloud. And we look into that heavenly realm that you take us into those high spiritual places. Open unto us the oracles that you committed to us. That when we read and consume your word, when we speak your word, it activates in the atmosphere. Let the fire of your spirit flood the people and cleanse us, Father. Yes, yes, you committed unto us the oracles, Father. Enliven those oracles and us, set them ablaze as you did that day when the mountain was on fire with your word, with your spirit. We know that your words instruct and keep and grow us, guide us through these dark places, and we become a light. And when we are attacked, be a shelter all about us. And when we must war, let us war in the spirit, Father, being girded about with the armor of the Most High, glorifying, honoring, and trusting in you, and knowing that whether we live or die, we belong to you. Let us go forth into the fire like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, never yielding to the profane but glorifying you in everything that we do. And we thank you this day and forevermore. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, encourage us, speak to us. Let that still small voice whisper to us and let us hear and follow and have mercy upon us for we have sinned. And we confess our sins one to another. And we know that Yeshua HaMashiach died and rose from the grave. We believe, receive, and accept these truths. And he stands before you pleading for us, interceding for us. Yeshua HaMashiach come before that mighty throne in our name, pleading as we follow and lift us up when we fall. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes, beloved, yes. Thank you, Father. Glory, hallelujah, praise, honor, and thanksgiving, and wisdom. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father. Let our hearts be filled with gratitude this day. Open our eyes to all the blessings that you have and are giving us. And let us be lifted up, those of us who are downtrodden. Let us recognize there is food, not only in our homes, but in our bodies. There is food for our spirits. There is food for our minds. And we are thankful this day because we know from whom all our blessings flow. Thank you that we have a dwelling that we may find comfort and safety within it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, there's light in our house and water that we may drink. Thank you, Father. There is a bed for us to lay down on and clothes to cover our nakedness. Thank you, Father. Thank you because you have clothed us in your spirit and not just physical attire. Thank you, Father. 
place upon our feet, not just the shoes that walk in this world, but cover us in those spiritual shoes that will walk us into the eternal rest and life everlasting, Father. Strengthen our legs and our loins that me, we may walk and do thy bidding and let us be a vessel for your use. Yes, Father. Strengthen our arms that we war against those spiritual strongholds, tearing them down with the word of life. Yes, Father, yielding that sword of your word that glorious spiritual word of life from whence all creation has come. Yes, Father, yes, yes, yes. And just like they built a wall in the days of Nehemiah around the old Jerusalem, let us look, bless us that we look upon the walls of the new Jerusalem. Yes, yes, yes. With those 12 beautiful foundation stones bearing it up. Let us see those walls, Father. Let us live in that blessed land. Let us walk on those golden streets. Let us be anointed in the glorious light of you where there need not be any sun that shines because the light of you is there upon us. Let us see those gates, Father, those gates with the pearls, those four gates that bear the name of the 12 patriarchs. Let our eyes behold that glory and let us never forget that thy reward is true and faithful. Yes, yes, that wall, Father, keeping out those things that have no place to enter in. Let us remember, Father, that thou art with us always, never leaving nor forsaking us. Let us remember, especially when we become weak and when we begin to forget the truth of all you have given us, promise us, and will bring. Let thy word, thy beautiful word, that still small voice speak to us. Meet us on our bed. Follow the tear-stained covers and speak to us. And let our tears of sorrow turn into tears of joy. Lay upon our pillow with us and speak in our inner ear. Yes, Father, yes, yes, yes. Circumcise our heart that we are sensitive to the spirit and moved where we can't help but yield and respond in awesome glory of you and your spirit, Father. Touch us. We come before you this day as sheep to our shepherd, looking to you to keep us and guide us, keeping the wolves away Yes, Father, yes, yes, yes. Looking for the sure mercies of David. Yes, Father, yes. This day, we come before you honoring, glory, and thanking you for all that you have given us and all that you do. We ask that you take us into that eternal fire, burning away all the dross of the world, all those carnal things that try to pull our spirits away from you. Cleanse us, Father, as only you can do. As we give you honor and glory, let us remember that which some of us have forgotten. For you are our first love. Yes, Father, yes, yes. Let us grow hot with the flames of your spirit for you. And our desire grow with each passing day to follow. For you are the true light of the world, Father. Your word, Yeshua HaMashiach, your glorious spirit, baptize us, Father. Renew us, Father. And we give you glory, praise, and honor. Yes, Father, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So many troubles of the past, so many pains, so many tears, and yet here we are today. We don't know how we did it, but because thou art with us, 
you carried us through. We've walked through the valleys of the shadow of death. For that evil has no power, for thou art with us. Let our faith activate as we pursue you. Let us follow you like Abraham did. No matter what you ask of us. Let our passions be overcome by the spirit of your truth. That it does not call us to fall, cause us to fall. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Yeshua HaMashiach, for dying even for those of us that were blind and could not see and being merciful enough to open our eyes to the truth of who you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This day and forevermore, we praise you, Father. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we ask that you remember thy covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Cast down our enemies, weaken them. Let their feet grow weary and wither, that they cannot stand. Let their legs become weak, Father, their minds feeble, that their foolishness come back on them because they have betrayed your royal command. Though they profess to know you, they know you not. And those of us who have fallen, lift us up, Father. Find us on the highways and the hedges. Find us, call to these lost sheep, for we are yours. And leave us not to the wolves. And through thy grace and mercy, lift us up. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. Yes, beloved. A word, shalom.